Ahoy! Today we have a little bit of an info dump of different things regarding New World. Because they made a lot of huge announcements and I also found something very interesting in the new trailer that I don't think has been pointed out yet. Let's begin with the server launch times here. So you can see all the server launch times here. And what's notable, if you look for example at Australia, that is at 9pm AEST, whereas EU is at 8am CEST, which is actually earlier in the day. So not just EU to Australia earlier, but actually earlier in terms of hours. So there is going to be a staggered release with different time zones launching the game at different times. I am not a fan of this. I know that this is probably about server stability, uh, but it comes with an issue. And that is what a lot of people are concerned about at the moment. So what happened during the beta was that names were global. If I chose a name on the Australian servers, then that name could not be chosen on the US servers or EU servers. And there's a lot of back and forth at the moment with like some streamers having some statements from New World and then people are reaching out to support, uh, getting other statements from them. And I thought this post here was relatively interesting. I'm going to link that down below as well as everything else in here. This is from uh, Comrade Katiusha. And they asked again after all the... <laughs> all the controversy started going up. Uh, they reached out to the support and asked and basically had a long conversation with them that concluded that there is no definitive statement from New World yet. They had the state of how it was during the beta, but there's no confirmation of that same thing being the case for launch. There's potential that names might be region locked or might not be region locked. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm assuming that New World will release a statement on that tomorrow or later today because it's something that's going around a lot. And then we have something completely different in between here before we get to the launch details. Uh, this I thought was really, really interesting. So this is from the new trailer, the new, new world trailer that uh, came out yesterday. I zoomed in a little bit here so you can see it as, as well as possible. And uh, this character here stood out to, to Freedom, to my company leader, or one of my company leaders, uh, who asked me if this could potentially be some sort of maze. And I thought, no, nope, that's not a maze, that's a heal staff, that's a life staff, something of that sort. It's like a priest-like character anyways. But because I was looking closely at this character, I had a look around the rest of the characters as well and noticed something very unusual. If you look very closely at this character, he's holding a shield, very obvious, but his weapon is not a sword. His weapon is a hatchet. And as of now, in-game, you can only hold a hatchet one-handed with no shield. So this is a very interesting change. Now, this is not a confirmation that hatchet and shield will be possible in game. This might be purely a stylistic choice, and it probably is. It probably is just something where they figure, okay, he needs to hold something to look cool here. But I figured it was worth pointing out in, in case it ends up being a hint. And then Freedom pointed out to me that that's actually not the only unusual character here, because if you look at this character down here, they are actually holding a rapier, it looks like. This is very likely not a sword. If you look at it, animated in the trailer you can maybe see it a little bit better than i can show you here but it it's a very thin weapon so uh if we try and play this maybe maybe you'll be able to see it a little bit better it's it doesn't look like a sword it, it very much looks like it would be a rapier it's a very 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 thin weapon so yeah it looks like um at least in this trailer we have a guy with a rapier holding a shield and a guy with a hatchet holding a shield which would be completely broken if that was actually in game without any further balancing changes. So we'll have to see what, what happens with that. But I thought it was interesting and worth pointing out. And then on the launch details post, we have some more information as well um, that I wanted to just quickly highlight. So we have the server times here, but we also have the Twitch drops, the vine spun weapon skins. These are skins that you can equip on your weapon um, and they will be given from all the streamers that participated in the battle for New World. And it's probably like the other drops where you have to watch them for like 15 minutes or an hour and it drops randomly. Uh, and yeah, you can get all of these skins through that. I'm guessing you're getting all of them at once as well from what it sounds like. There's no mention of them being individually because it's uh, called the weapon set. So you probably see a lot of those, but I think it looks pretty cool. So it's pretty nice. And then we also have Prime Gaming content, the first part of that being uh, this pirate outfit along with the pirate stance and 500 marks of fortune, a currency to, can, to, to be able to buy uh, further cosmetics in the shop. And after that, we also have a second bundle. So the first one is uh, from November 1st and the second one is from October 12th. And this one includes a... No, sorry, the first one is from uh, September 28th, uh, from, from launch right away. Uh, and... This one includes the uh, pirate sword skin, 
as well as the finger across his throat emote. But more importantly, it includes three crests. And these are the logos to use for companies. So you can change your company logo at any point. And it seems like they will introduce more logos uh, that you at least, in this case, have to pay for through Prime Gaming um, uh, at later stages. So that's pretty interesting. I think these logos actually look pretty cool as well. A little bit nicer than the standard ones we have so far for the most part. And then there's a list of all the launch servers again, if you want to look at it. But something interesting about the launch server. So a lot of people were talking and asking about streamer servers. And there is a website that uh, initially a lot of people were a little bit skeptical about. And I was too. It's uh, streamersonnew.world. I can't actually show you like this because the website is bugged on my Firefox for some reason. It shows on other browsers. But I can show you an image of what it looks like. So uh, we will do just that. Um, if it works again. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> it used to work before. All right, here we go. This should be it. Yes, wonderful. And uh, here. So this is what it looks like. Um, and this is just an overview of the uh, servers here. Up here, you can choose any region. And then you can choose how many followers the, the streamers you're looking for have. Um, and then it shows their, their server, their in-game name. Uh, how much impact it will likely have on the server based on the amount of followers they have, what faction they're going and all that. So if you want to specifically go to a streamer server, you can use it, or if you want to avoid it, you can use it as well. And why I think this is uh, more credible now and not just you know some random thing somebody did is because uh, two of the, the makers of the site actually both reached out to me, uh, checking back with me if I'm going to be on the Australian servers, if I'm going to be on the server that I announced, which is Utopia, if I'm going to be Marauders. So answer to all of that is yes. Um, but yeah. They are very thorough in reaching out to even smaller creators like me comparatively uh, and making sure that they have all the right information and that everyone is okay with being listed on the site. So as such, um, I would say this site is going to be very reliable at least and is probably already relatively reliable right now. So those are all the news, all kinds of different stuff uh, that I wanted to go through. I hope this was uh, insightful and I will be back with at least one, if not two videos later, uh, more in-depth stuff. Uh, and some guide stuff. So I hope you stick around for that and I hope to see you for those later. Uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to sub button and maybe the bell. That really helps me out. And I hope to see you for the next one soon. Duke Sloth, out.